Floyd Mayweather Jr. is easily the most talented, most skilled, and most dedicated boxer alive today. His craft in the ring is incomparable, and his personality outside the ring has made him one of the most divisive and prominent figures in the history of the sweet science. The reasons for his success are many, but his adaptability stands out. In the words of Andre Ward, Mayweather is truly an all-terrain fighter. Floyd is known as a counterpuncher, but he can lead the dance as well as any in the game. He is potent with both his left hand and his right. He can fight off the ropes, control the center of the ring, or skip circles around his foe. But regardless of which type of fight Floyd chooses to engage in, he is always demonstrating his ability to box at every conceivable range and distance. Let's look at some of the tricks and tools Mayweather uses that make him such a diverse and capable boxer. This is Floyd Mayweather, all-terrain fighter. First, let's examine Floyd at long range. Much of Floyd's style centers around the idea of protecting the center line. He does this via his signature shoulder roll defense, more on that later, but footwork also plays a vital role, as does the paramount long-range weapon, the jab. In order to beat his opponent, Floyd must not only focus on protecting his own center line, but using that jab and the inherent threat of his lead foot to threaten the opponents. Here's one of Floyd's favorite tricks for exposing his opponent's center. Before watching that again, let's break down the concept. Floyd tends to stand very side on, so that the left side of his body conceals his center line. In order to get into an offensively viable position, his opponents must get past Floyd's lead foot, and therefore past his primary line of defense. By taking that step, however, the opponent momentarily opens his stance, exposing his own center line. Floyd knows this, and uses it to his advantage. Now let's watch again. Here, Miguel Cotto steps toward Mayweather. Note how wide his step is. He's already looking to get around Floyd's left side. Floyd intercepts him, turning his left foot so that Cotto's route to his opponent's center line is cut off. Bouncing to disguise his intentions, Cotto places his left foot past Mayweather's left foot. Now he's just a small pivot away from a dominant inside angle. Of course, this is exactly what Mayweather wanted. Cotto's step has exposed his own center, and Mayweather springs the trap, sticking him with a jab before he can fully secure his position. And now the whole sequence again. Floyd doesn't just set traps for his opponents, though. Sometimes he bypasses their defenses himself. Here, he uses a lead left hook to set up his jab. Floyd plays a risky trick on Cotto here moving his back foot into position before his lead foot. By grapevining his legs like this, he puts himself at risk of being caught out of position, but he also manages to hide his footwork from Cotto. Because of that sneaky footwork, the movement of Floyd's left foot is completely unanticipated by Cotto. Floyd actually feints a jab on the way in and then completes his step with a left hook. But the hook itself was just to set up for another jab. This lands clean, because Floyd's hook brought Cotto's glove to the side of his face, opening the lane for a straight punch. Let's watch it all again. Now we move into middle range, where most of Floyd's best counters take place. In the next sequence, Mayweather manipulates distance to perfectly time and counter a combination from Canelo Alvarez. Let's watch that again. and again from another angle. Canelo's first two punches connect with Mayweather's left arm. As he throws, Floyd leans back into the ropes, protecting his chin behind his left shoulder and giving himself space to see what Alvarez is doing. Because Floyd changed the distance by leaning back, Alvarez has overcommitted. As he loads up on his left hook, he has leaned forward, giving Mayweather an easy target. Floyd's counter right is the much shorter, straighter punch, and it lands while his opponent is still in mid-swing. To his credit, Canelo rolls his head with the punch, taking off much of the impact.
Now once more. Finally, we move on to close range. Floyd is often at his craftiest on the inside, using roughhouse tactics and excellent positioning to outmaneuver and outwork his opponents. Here, he uses a bevy of tricks to get the best of Miguel Cotto against the ropes. Mayweather and Cotto stands temple to temple. It looks like Floyd is waiting for Cotto to throw an uppercut, but when no attack comes, he throws one of his own, a short tap of a punch that lifts Cotto's head. As Cotto covers up and leans back in, Floyd bumps him away with a sharp shove from his left arm, which creates just enough space for a right hook, left uppercut combo. Now, as Cotto wrestles his way back inside, Mayweather feels him start to pull away for a hook, so he pulls back himself, avoiding the punch and a follow-up. Finally, Mayweather manages to sneak his left arm in and lays it across Cotto's collarbone. He uses this forearm frame to lever Cotto away from him for another right hand. When Cotto ducks under that punch, Mayweather stifles him altogether, laying his forearm across the back of Cotto's neck and shoving him down. This kind of roughhousing really adds up over the course of a fight. Now, that sequence all together, one last time. Floyd Mayweather's style is beautiful not because of his flash, but because of his subtlety. Small steps, little adjustments, clever tricks. All just tools in the kit of the all-terrain fighter. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to MMANation.com on YouTube. For more analysis and combat sports news, check out BloodyElbow.com and BadLeftHook.com. Or, if you just like the sound of my voice, listen to trainer interviews and fight breakdowns with me at heavyhandspodcast.com. Thanks for watching.